Child endangerment. We'll be in radio contact with you the whole time. Uh -uh. Stranger Things has received a huge surge of popularity instantly after the release of its first season on 15th of July 2016. Did you know that it is one of Netflix's most watched shows all over the world? If you love both science fiction as well as horror films or stories, gear up to watch Stranger Things. You're sure to enjoy it a hell of a lot. Created by the Duffer Brothers, this web series is a perfect combination of adventurous ventures, crime investigations, supernatural occurrences, as well as endearing child like instances. In today's suspense-packed video, we'll give you a detailed synopsis of this highly exciting Netflix series. Grab a tub of popcorn and get ready to witness the magnetic appeal of such a powerful story. You don't want to miss out on any pivotal part of the tale, right? So, keep watching the video till the end to experience what it feels like to be a part of an enigmatic, eerie world. Synopsis Season 1 of Stranger Things began with a bewildering event of the mysterious disappearance of a small-town boy. The plot is set against the background of Hawkins located in Indiana. On the 6th of November, 1983, a young lad named Will Byers was returning home from a friend's place after playing Dungeons & Dragons at night. That's when the audience encountered the fearsome event that they didn't see coming. Will was cycling back to home when he suddenly saw a grotesque, horrible figure blocking his way. This is the event that triggered the plot to take up its pace. Will tried his best to flee from the site and hide from the gruesome, monster-like figure, but he had to fall prey to its power and was abducted by the terrible figure. Wondering where Will was taken then? Well, he was made to enter an alternate reality, probably the world of the supernatural. As is usual, after getting worried over Will's prolonged absence, his friends Mike, Lucas, and Dustin embark on the quest of finding their friend. While searching for Will in the nearby woods, Will's buddies come across a mystifying girl with a completely shaved head. She was dressed in a hospital gown and looked helpless. Now that's quite a shocking encounter with a weird stranger. Soon they learned that the girl's name is Eleven, and she's not just any ordinary girl. She possesses psychokinetic abilities and can move any object or person without touching them physically. Will's friends gave Eleven shelter by letting her stay in the basement of Mike's residence. Things turn all the more dangerous as Will's mother, Joyce, gets frightened as horrific events start occurring in the house. She feels that her abducted son, Will, is trying to communicate with her and wishing to transmit some message via all those supernatural mishaps in the house. It didn't take long for Joyce to feel the presence of the very monster that had taken away Will to the world of the supernatural. The demon leaves no stone unturned to threaten her. You'll find yourself stuck in a maze as you watch the characters gradually getting embroiled in terrible riddles, such as the scary effect cast by Stranger Things. On the other hand, the chief of the police, Jim Hopper, gets clues that the National Laboratory located nearby is involved in some suspicious and unusual activities. Soon, he starts working on gathering more information about the past of the laboratory laboratory engaged in some fishy activities. Meanwhile, the monster has not yet stopped its abducting activities. After Will, it now captures Barb, who's the best friend of Will's elder sister, Nancy. A series of deadly events occur, and soon a gate to the alternate dimension, called the Upside Down, is discovered. Ultimately, Eleven fights the monster, but sadly, she too disappeared with it. Will returns home, but he coughs up a slug-like organism in the bathroom. Shockingly, it gave him a sudden flash of the Upside Down. He got scared of it, but did not share this incident with his family and friends. Season 2 began with a mysterious incident on the 28th of October, 1984. Hawkins is now reeling under the tortures of a new evil creature, the Mind Flayer, a super large spider. In fact, it is even bigger in size than the entire city of Hawkins. This horrible spider is now in charge of the Upside Down. The biggest shock of this season is to see Eleven come alive again on screen, as she apparently seals the gate of the Upside Down. Will is again possessed by the Shadow Monster. This time, there seems to be no way out. A new character called Max emerges and he helps the boy gang of Hawkins to fight the Demogorgon or the monster. Amidst all the gloomy and tension-filled moments, the romantic moments of Eleven and Mike's first kiss and Nancy's lovely dance with Dustin are a welcome relief. The youngsters enjoy the snowball blissfully, oblivious of the dangerous fact that the Shadow Monster is back because it was never actually destroyed. It is now looming 
large over the school in the Upside Down. How intriguing and scary is that? The third season begins with the Soviet Union witnessing failure as they had attempted creating a gate to the Upside Down. The Hawkins gang of youngsters are now on the verge of entering adulthood. Eleven and Mike have now become more intimate than ever before. This time, the monster doesn't have a definite shape, but it is an amalgamation of several borrowed parts of other beings. Quite a grotesque mass of creature that is quite powerful as well. The Star Court Mall evolves as an important establishment in this season, as a series of secret tunnels were discovered below it, just in the same way as the organic diggings found under the Hawkins Laboratory were revealed. The fight against the monstrous creature got divided into three sections, that of the youngsters involving everyone from Mike, Lucas, Will, Eleven to Jonathan and Nancy, the Scoops troop, including Dustin, Steve, Robin, and Erica, and finally that of the elders comprising Joyce, Hopper, and Murray. You'll be relieved to know that Will is no longer under the grasp of the monster this time, quite thankfully so. Several mind-boggling instances occur until Jonathan, Nancy, and the group meet at Hopper's cabin, while Eleven desperately searches for the members of the flayed monster through the void. After the passing of a few events, we find Dr. Zarkov injecting a needle into the neck of Steve's. Billy is found simply sitting in his room. As the entire party believes that he's trying to set up a trap, Elle puts efforts to reach him, but rather succeeds in accessing his memories where she sees his younger self sharing a lovely moment with his mother. Meanwhile, Hopper relays an alert call to Dr. Owens, while Joyce, Murray, and Alexi return to Hawkins. Elle, through her special powers, witnesses Billy being abused by his father. She continues to see more of such visions until she finally reaches her destination of Brimborn Steelworks. She finds herself completely alone there. At this point, Billy enters the cabin and makes a shocking remark that the ravages that the flayed monster had been doing so far was because of Elle. He even said that he is going to kill not only Elle, but also her friends and literally everyone. On hearing this, Elle departs from the Brimborn Steelworks. After she leaves, the flayed monster combines at the Steelworks to form a very huge and powerful spider-like monster. What's going to happen next? It's the fear of the unknown and the danger that may strike the people of Hawkins, which is going to be unveiled in this coming season. Though no such release date of season 4 has been disclosed yet, a post on YouTube and social media by the makers has confirmed that it will be released sometime in 2022 on Netflix. The Duffer brothers have confirmed that script writing has already been completed. They have even declared that this new season is going to be the most frightening series as things will turn scarier than before. Hooper's backstory will also be explored in the fourth season, and the missing dots of the previous seasons will also be connected in this season. There will be nine episodes in the new season. Probably, the terrible monster that had come into existence at the end of the third season will return to haunt the lives of the people at Hawkins. We just need to wait and see how horrifying the series turns into. So, that was all about the highly gripping tale of Stranger Things. How enchanting did you find the plot of the series? Isn't the storyline a mind-blowing one? Which characters from the series do you admire the most? Let us know in the comments section how much you like this video. The mysterious episodes with the tinge of the presence of the horror elements have clicked with the minds of the viewers. No doubt why it has got such a huge popularity worldwide. Press the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified immediately after we post a new video. In this way, you won't miss out on the fantastic content on your favorite movies and series. We'll take leave for now, and we'll soon be back with yet another fantastic content. Till then, consider watching the first season of Stranger Things if you haven't already. Binge watching this series is going to be an awesome experience. We'll catch you in the next video.